Hello everybody and welcome back to Social Club. We're doing it down south uh, this week and next week because the boys are out in uh, in America, in LA. On a jolly uh, up. On a jolly up, working hard. Uh, I'm here with Flav from The Fighting Cock and Annie Lennox to <laughs> talk about, talk about uh, Fabian Delph. Just looking at this book here. Oh yeah, <laughs> so we got? Loads of old pictures of football, like 60s, 70s football, back when men were men and women were grateful. <laughs> <laughs> you done? <laughs> <laughs> For the record, <laughs> I'm not a misogynist. <laughs> yeah, I am not. it doesn't count if you say it afterwards. Yeah. It's the joke. It's yeah, a joke. It's yeah. a joke. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, Fabian Delph. Uh, back to the topic in hand, Flav. Yeah. Fabian Delph has said that he's learnt more in three weeks with Pep Guardiola about football than he has in his entire 26 years of playing football on this little earth. Uh, is this quite damning for Paul Lambert, Martin O'Neill, <laughs> the other manager? <laughs> and also the whole England system that he hasn't learnt much the whole time. And now in three weeks, Guardiola's yeah. gone, keep possession. <laughs> and he's like, and he's, yeah, it is. He's it's awful. Away. It's awful. I mean, obviously, Pep Guardiola is one of, if not the best manager in the world. But still, three weeks. I mean, it says a lot about Pellegrini as well. He played with him for true, however yeah. long. Um, How can you be that much better? At as a manager than anyone else. Tactically. Like Everyone's been, crazy about him. It's like being at school, and you, everyone remembers that teacher who got through to you. You know, I've, mine was Terry Simpson. <laughs> Good old tell. Good old Terry. Yeah, the only one we were allowed to call by his Mrs. first. Oh, right. I was going to say, should yeah. we call him Sir or Mrs. Simpson? All, all the others were Mr. Mr. and Mrs., but he was Terry Simpson to everybody, all, all the kids. And because he was so affable <laughs> and, and, and lovely, you know, I remember him, but he had a way, what my point is, is he had a <laughs> way of giving, <laughs> a, 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 of transporting information. And if you can do that, it's an amazing skill and a rare one. And, and Pe Pe um, Guardiola obviously has that ability. Yeah, Del I mean, Delph is saying that, it, what was quite interesting was that he, he didn't just, it wasn't just a flippant comment. He was saying, yeah, it's a big statement, but it's the truth. And he was saying that the way that he's able to simplify things is, is what's really getting through to him. Um, I'm sure everyone's kind of watched a few videos on, on the system of, of Guardiola and what he likes to get across. And it seems as though that I, I watched one with um, Thierry Henry and it was the three P's, that position, uh, play and possession. And it seems that there's a, a way of, he's got a, a clear way that he wants to get the ball through the first two thirds of the pitch. But then in the final third, it's about, about you guys doing your, doing your thing. Mm. But I, I don't know, I just find that amazing that, that he's supposedly so far ahead of, of anyone else. Or, or is that just one style and it's, and it's got through to Fabian Delph? Because I guess you've got Mourinho, who has the complete it's opposite It's got to be the style. Like, when you play, you've been at Barcelona that long, all the way through from the academy through to, you know, playing in the first team, Champions League, <laughs> 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 whatever. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah. I better be your mum. <laughs> Calling me. <laughs> it's Terry Simpson. <laughs> what, <laughs> we like to. When, when you're playing in Barcelona and you play that sort of style, and you're playing such attacking football, you know, imagine being out on the training pitch every day and you've got, you're doing defensive work, you're doing shape, you're, but when you're going out there and you're playing the exciting football, something that you like to do, you're going to love it so much more, you're going to be much more excited and you know, positive about it all. Like Pep Guardiola is probably, probably a great manager to play for and, you know, Nolito said he only went there because Pep Guardiola was there. Yeah. So it shows how much people like, love the guy. Delph, right? <clears throat> he's, he's being refashioned or being trained to understand the defensive duties in that, in, that, in that team. So he's been playing as a defender, a centre back. If yeah, yeah, right. yeah. Right. That doesn't necessarily mean that he's going to be Mascherano. He's creating versatility in his players, which you, I've said it a few times before, and Hennage is a, a kind of proponent of this as well, is that players are going to become more, have to become more versatile in football. It's more useful to have a player can play in four or five positions than it is one. It makes, makes sense. So, and it's cheaper. Can well. that muddy the waters though a little bit? Because Mourinho is saying, you, you, I'm going to buy specialist players. I want specialist players for specialist positions. I'm trying to say that three times. And he's already said Rooney is a striker. Exactly, yeah, yeah. And I don't know, can of worms. I thought Rooney played all right against Russia. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think he, people going, he's not midfielder, he's not midfielder. We did all right. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure I get hammered for that. But can you, like, do you want a team of Phil Neville's? <laughs> Look, it's, it's, it's more than that. It's, 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 it's more subtle than that, and no one wants that. But it's, it's, much, it's much more subtle than that. Yeah. Imagine that calendar. It's <laughs> crapping it. Oh, April, June. You know, he, he's, it's, 
it, it's more important, especially when money is becoming a, a kind of, it's more important to create and, and, and get the most out of the players you have than just throw money at specialist players because that's the way you win the league. Essentially, you're, in my opinion, you're so, showing a, a, a manager who has variety and, and a forward-thinking approach to the game and understands to get the most out of the players they have and Mourinho is going to throw money at getting the best players for that position, the position in the world that his club can attract and afford. Who would you rather see manage your team? Someone who's playing the short game or someone actually develop players for your team? I've had the benefit of watching Pochettino do that at Spurs. Dyer has gone from being a kind of average centre-back, right-back with potential to essentially one of the most important players in our team, mm. if not England as well. And if you'd have told me that, literally at the beginning of the season, we were seeing Dyer being played in pre-season as a defensive midfielder again, what is going on? What is what's Pochettino playing at? Sign a defence centre, centre defender. So sign a, uh, a uh, defensive midfielder. Sign one. Got to find. Got to find a player. Actually, lo and behold, Pochettino knows more than fans. <laughs> fans know fuck all again. Stop <laughs> saying that. It's true though. I was saying, what's he doing? What is he doing? He proved me wrong, and that's what I want my managers to do. I don't want a fan running my football club. I want a manager who can see things in players that fans can't and other people can't and, and that's what he did with Dyer and there's no more uh, gratifying thing to watch throughout the season to, to uh, a plan being put in place by a manager and it come off, come off. So I guess the really exciting thing about this story is that Fabian Delph is going to get turned into yeah, he's gonna be amazing. a world beater yeah, he's gonna be and amazing. Callum in the office who's slagging me off for saying Delph should be in the squad. I don't think he should be in the squad, just can Well, speaking of the other foot, <laughs> because... <laughs> He's going to be the Ballon d'Or winner. What am I talking no. about? <laughs> it could be, do you know what I mean? The Rue de Ballon be, winner. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> he, he's coming Friday. Yeah, coming Friday. They, uh, That's exciting though, because you've also got Sterling there, who's at his, his lowest ebb in his career. It is. It is. But because, so he could come back and Guardiola's going to tell him all the secrets of the game. But. And it's going to change everything. Then they're and then going to be great. And then Allardyce is going to lift the World Cup. But then they're all going to go and get absolutely again. ruined by Sam Allardyce. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not similar in my I know we were optimistic about him a minute ago. <laughs> Alice is getting him in. He goes, oh, he's been saying what? Ah, I forget what that bollocks. You're a central midfielder. That's where you play. Oh, the devil will get it and go past you and be like, whoa. It's Big Sam said it's soft. Hit the channels. What's wrong here? Hit the channels. Hit the channels. Don't let me see you do Play the percentages. Big Sam said it's soft. Tick attack is a load of bollocks. Oh, I agree with him there. Tick attack is the most boring form of football. What do you want? Do you want players who are just smart or do you want, and, and can play a variety of positions in your squad? Or are you looking for specialist players in specialist positions? It's all uh, looking quite exciting for this season. Guardiola against Mourinho as well. So uh, let's know what you think about Guardiola, Mourinho, their style of play. And Fabian Delph, is he the, is he the answer to uh, England's problems? Don't ask me. Don't ask him. Let us know in the comments below. Uh, check out all the other social club videos and make sure you subscribe to Ball Street.